Hey, hey, System Coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the road to glory. And you guys, just one thing, can I just say this real quick? Most of the episodes on this series so far have over 3,000 likes. You guys are insane. If you could keep up that support, that would be very much appreciated. Only three more days of this series, guys, and then I'm going to be gone on honeymoon. So keep that in mind. We will have a little bit of a pause, and then I will come back hopefully it will make you want to see the series even more once i come back you guys are going to be looking forward to it and of course around like 40 percent of the people that are watching my videos are not even subscribed subscribe to the channel go ahead and do it right now that'd be much appreciated guys uh, thank you <laughs> let's go into the episode right now though as we have a lot of things to discuss let's go into the comments right here matush buznak and he says you can actually discover what harrison his weak foot and skill moves are go into the training session and train him by himself for example try to do a la croqueta or elastico to discover what skill moves he has very very good shout my man knows his career mode stuff man and we know that ed harrison looks like an insane talent and we want to know if he actually is someone that can do skills if he is someone that has a good weak foot all of that good stuff we will get to know once we get into a training session and i will go ahead and test him out and you guys will be watching it alongside me now there's another comment actually that I found very, very helpful and very informative. It is coming in from Oli Davis and it's a long one. He says, Johnny, here are some stats of the O's in real life this season. Happy is first choice center back alongside Colson. That's how we have our team lined up at the moment as well. So good thing right there. Equiteta has played right back for them this season, which is very interesting, which I think he might actually be able to do. Um, Wright seems to be the scoring midfielder out of the current three they're playing, Clay, Marsh and Wright. So they, that's the midfield that we are using as well. But apparently Wright is the one that's scoring the goals, not Clay. Um, Wilkinson seems to be their starting striker, but the 34-year-old Harold has been starting lately. So Angol isn't even playing in real life. Hangul, what are you doing? Come on, bro. And then there's another one that says Alabi is an absolute tank. Look him up on Google. He was at Stoke as a youngster, never made an appearance and has played for various clubs through his career. Maybe you could keep him and help him settle out your club and give him a chance when you're winning comfortably or need an extra man up front. Alabi we've used at the, one of the first episodes of this series and he was actually quite decent um, but his movement is the is the key issue that he has and at the same time Alabi isn't really one of the youngest players is he? He's already 25 and he's not really someone that you can train to change and be more agile and all that good stuff so if he was younger that would have been perfect but yeah we do have him at the club right now. Harold, who is apparently playing a lot of games for the O's at the moment, is someone that we have sold. And then, of course, last episode, you guys were talking about this in the comments quite often. I say, Brophy is my hero, and then there's me just selling him as well at the same time. But we need that money, guys. You need to understand that the Road to Glory, it is very necessary to just let some people go to improve the team with Youth Academy and all that good stuff. But the Youth Academy has been really good to us, man. We have brought in Cook. Scout the Future Star has brought in Wagner, who looks incredible and then we have Lewis coming in as well who if we finally get the cheat engine sorted on my PC for whatever reason the cheat engine won't work on my PC just a regular realism mod and all that stuff will work it would be nice if I could go ahead and change the weak foot of Lewis in any time in the future I don't think I can change it in this edit player section I'm just gonna check it real quick if there is a possibility to actually do that because if there is we can set up challenges to say if he does this we go ahead and change his weak foot, you know, that type of stuff. I would be quite interested in that. Lewis, let's see, can I change anything about it? No, I don't see anything where it says weak foot or anything like that. Maybe in the stats section right here. Attributes. Mm, nope, sadly not. Nothing to do with weak... Oh, actually, yes, we can change his weak foot. Okay, so guys, let me know in the comments down below what type of challenges should we have for Lewis to change his weak foot. Let me know in the comments down below. That would be very interesting to see. We can apparently change his weak foot, which would be very, very good, by the way. I would really appreciate changing that because that will make him so much more usable for the future of this club. So set up some challenges for him. Maybe like get two assists with your weak foot or get 
a goal with your weak foot, something like that, to move up to three, let me know in the comments down below. That can be very useful. Also, there's another comment coming in from G Olden, and he says, can you do a poll next episode to see who's everyone's favorite player? So in the poll, guys, in the top right corner, I'm gonna try and fit in as many players as possible, but in the poll, we will have on goal, we will have Cook, Clay, Dennis, and oh, who else would we say deserves a shout in there? I think those are like the favorite ones. Wagner, maybe? Let's put Wagner in there as well. I think those are going to be the players that you guys can vote for. I'm interested to see which one is the favorite of everyone. Now, in the league, guys, we are in the eighth position. We're up against Skuntorp, and this is going to be a big game. Wagner is sadly out with a red card. Ekpiteta is saying that he has been in pretty good form lately. So we're going to say we'll consider it. And at the same time, we will put him in into that right back position, as you guys have suggested, that that is the position that he actually plays at the moment in real life. So we're going to go for it against Skuntorp. The realism mod is back so the simulation shouldn't go really fast it should be going as we normally do yes perfect so we go through the match right here just anxiously awaiting any goals being scored by our team come on Leighton we can do this oh we concede but we score Clay is bringing it back all right we equalized oh we're actually winning Clay with two goals yo Clay is sick he's actually sick if we can hold on to this that may make me so happy to begin the episode, we're going to start off with a win. Thank you, Clay. He's a beast, man. His stats must be insane for the season. Let's just quickly take a little look into the stats of Clay. He has been outstanding in that midfield, even though he's only 61 rated. The guy is doing bits. He's the best player in our team, man. He has scored 14 goals. He has more goals than our striker at this point, which is just ridiculous. 14 goals, 6 assists. He has to improve next season in terms of his potential. I know he's 27, but he, sh he still should be able to grow past that 61. It's ridiculous that he hasn't grown yet. He is clearly the best player in the team. Unbelievable performance from that guy. Captaincy suggestions? What? They were, oh yeah, of course, Wagner has to be the one. Dude, immediately, once he's like fit to play, immediately the team is like, yeah, 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 Wagner needs to be the captain. Why is that so fast? I wish everything else that the board sees would be coming in so fast with responses um, being asked for. Uh, but yeah, we have True Alexander in the FA Cup right here, boys. That's going to be a game that is quite interesting. Are we going to play it? Oh, we have Manchester United coming up. Lads, United in the Carabao Cup, that is gonna be huge. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna play against Crew Alexander, then against Forest Green Rowers, we'll probably get a draw or lose because our whole team will be tired, and then we're up against United. And then we'll play against uh, Oldham, and then we'll get to the 14th and get a new scout report. Actually, we won't because we don't have a scout out at the moment. We don't have the money. We don't have the money. That is just so upsetting, just knowing that. Ah, oh, that sucks. All right, so the last one was a draw, and this time we can't allow ourselves to slip up, people. We need to get through into the next round. I want all that cup money that we can use then in the next season to invest into the youth academy. This is like probably the most important, um, uh, what's it called? Like the most important competition that we're taking part in. We need our team to be successful in every single competition and this one is going to bring in some money so for that reason we're going to bring it over to cook and then just pass it straight in into your opponent cool he's looking for cook angle is running into the wrong direction carrying the defenders towards cook which is not something i want angle beautiful cook five star weak foot yes finally finally he scores lads it's taking so long for cook to finally be able to finish in front of the goal we have created so many chances over the past few episodes and he would just never score but we have finally pulled it off cook has done it it's 1-0 up against crew alexander and goal as always involved in the build-up the goalkeeper seems quite small by the way but that is a quality finish from cook right here couldn't have done it better that's 1-0 for the o's let's go Oh. My. God. So Hapa just played it right into our opponent, first mistake, and then the guy just said to himself, you know what? Bang. 
Like, there's nothing that describes this goal better than just bang. Unbelievable. I can't believe I just conceded that. Look at his feet, man. He should have never been able to take that shot. His his ankle was broken. The one his standing foot. Anene gets it in. Two goals in the FA Cup so far. Crew Alexander putting up a fighter out here. Quite impressive strike if you ask me for such a low rated team. Cook trying to get past this defender. He's just lacking the pace, isn't he? That's the one thing with Cook, man. He has great dribbling, but he just lacks the pace to just run past people. Talking about running past people, it's Clay! It's Clay! Yes! He does it again! This man! Oh boy! I can't believe how good he is for us. It must be his work rate. It has to do something with his work rates because it doesn't make sense how he just can run past absolutely everyone. It's unbelievable. Oh man. That felt great. That felt really good. And once again, it's on goal with the assist. The man is maybe not scoring, but he's getting loads of assists every single time. That's the first goal of Clay in the FA Cup. Cook and Clay, some of our favorites, have already scored in this one. Now, let's try not concede another one, shall we? Marsh. Beautiful. Into right. Into Dennis. Dennis. Pen. Thank you. Thank you. Referee was paying attention. It's gonna be 3-1 if we do score this against Crew Alexander, who are playing at home, by the way, so they might be really disappointed with this. Um, who's gonna take this? Who's the best penalty taker? Actually, the best one is already taking it. Well, wish me luck, people. Wish me luck. I'm gonna go top right. Oh my god, this is terrible. Green timed it! Yes! Angol finally gets a call for himself. The guy has been helping absolutely everyone on the team and finally he gets one. It is 3-1 after only 40 minutes. Every 10 minutes a goal has been scored so far, but I wouldn't expect that to continue. We have done really well here, man. I didn't think it would be a game where we would be dominating but right now the team is doing an exceptional job sometimes you can clearly tell the difference of where your formation just really works against the opponent and sometimes it just doesn't work you can't create any chances this is one of them where it does work powell powell crosses it in and we do get it away nicely this time marsh and the boys are pushing on dennis now with lots of space ahead of him marsh with his left foot, plays an outstanding ball. Perfect first touch control from Dennis. Dennis to make it four. Dennis to make it four. That is what I wanted to see from him, people. Those run. What was that celebration? Can we just... That goal, it doesn't even mean anything now after that celebration. What, what did I just do? I, I don't know what I even pressed. What the hell did he do? What is that? What the? Oh, <laughs> since when is that celebration in the game? Oh my god, what a ball. What a ball. What am I supposed to do there? That is just... Wow. I can only say wow. That is unbelievable. That cross is something special. I wish I could cross like that. And that finish as well from Green is outstanding. They come back to 4-2. But at the end of the day... We are going to be going through into the next round, which is going to be very important. As I mentioned earlier on, guys, we need these types of victories. We need the wins in the cups. We need to get into the next rounds. By the way, we also need to pass the ball right into our teammates, just saying. But um, we need this in order to get all that money into the club because it's going to be so tough to do well in the upcoming seasons. Once we go up a league, man, every player that we need to bring into the team to improve the squad is going to cost so much money. So in order to be able to pull that off, we need all this cash and we might have to buy some old players next season to be able to afford them rather than going for youngsters who are just overpriced big time so we'll have to look into that but right now it could be 4-3 here in the last few minutes are you kidding me are you actually kidding me that guy just scored a perfect free kick oh my i feel so disrespected how the hell did he just take that free kick? Mate, you don't even see that in the Champions League. How, how did he do that? But it doesn't matter. It is the next round for the O's. We have performed really well away from home. I couldn't believe that it actually 
<laughs> turned out to be three goals for them, but it all started off with Cook right here, who has shown his potential in that position. Very happy with him in this game. He must be one of the best players in this one. 8.4, 9.4 for Angol because he got one goal and two assists. That is pretty impressive if you ask me. He is the outstanding player of this match for sure. So against Forest Green, guys, I have to put up a reserves team. And that reserves team consists of Wilkinson, Lewis, Brophy, McAniff, Gorman, Maguire, Drew, Sweeney, Turley, Ekpiteta, Ling and Brill. That is going to be the team that is going to play against Forest Green because our main team is just way too tired, as you guys can see right here. I mean, not way too tired, but I want to keep everyone fit for the big game against Manchester United. And that is something I'm looking forward to. 29 points on our team at the moment. First place, Colchester is five points ahead of us. I want to get into the top three to gain automatic promotion. Obviously, that is uh, one of our biggest goals. And hopefully we can do it by now. Playing with this reserves team against Forest Green. I don't know what to expect from them. They might be good. They might be bad. They had a pretty balanced three last few games. We pick up a yellow card immediately with Gorman and they score. May gets the first goal. Come on, Wilkinson. One of you lads has to do it for us. Maybe McAniff. Come on. 45 minutes have passed. We're still down 1-0. I don't accept that. Come on, lads. Cook now coming in. Colson coming in. Someone scored that equalizer. Instead of an equalizer, we actually go down 2-1. Wilkinson tried his best to get us back into the game, but the O's are losing against Forest Green, which is pretty disappointing. Very, very disappointing. But what happens now is we're up against Manchester United in the quarterfinals, guys. Imagine the upset. If we could pull that off, that would make my month. By the way, guys, I tried to train Harris as it was suggested at the beginning of this episode. And sadly, it wouldn't let me control him with the controller. It only worked with the PC thing. And I, I have no idea how to skill on PC. So sadly, we will not know if Harris if, is a five-star skiller, four-star skiller, good weak foot or not. We will sadly never know because the game doesn't let me control him with the controller in the training sessions for whatever reason. I don't understand why. But yeah. There you go, just now you know. So we have a youth squad monthly report. Let's see if anyone has grown. Harrison has gone up to um, nothing, I think. He's still a 46. Clark is at a 52, which is not too bad. We can sell him on in the future and Harrison is still on his 60. We have two Harrisons and we get an offer for Ekpiteta. Now, as much as he has messed up at the beginning of the season, there is no reason to sell him on yet. Um, I don't think he deserves to be sold. But uh, we go into the big game against Manchester United in a second right here, which I can't wait for, man. It's on the third of this month. We jump in there, loan offer for Sweeney. Not going to happen. Thank you very much. But um, we're going to see what we can do against this big side. I wonder if Manchester United is going to be playing their best team or if they will just go ahead and take this lightly and play like a bad team which is still going to be at least 10 overall ratings above our players in every single position so this is going to be a big game boys i don't know what to expect cook has gone up to 65 though and wagner is on 61 dennis has gone up to 63 lots of players are growing which i really really do appreciate nice stuff so guys this is the starting lineup of manchester united they are taking it quite seriously <laughs> We might get just absolutely smashed at their home ground, man. This is it. Angol and his boys up against the likes of Pogba. Oh, lads, I don't know what to expect. I'm just going to try and defend for my life. I'm going to be as focused as I've never been before in terms of defending, but you can probably see me conceding in the next clip. Oh, no, I gave them the ball. Oh, no, this is not good. Trying to cover the passing lanes here. United come through. Wright is helping out down that right back spot. That was important. Thank you, Wright. Oh no, Martial. If they take one shot, guys, it goes in. Like the one thing that we need to do is to try and not allow them to take any sort of shots. Dennis gets taken out. No foul given. Interesting. Just expecting these passes at this point. That's a great ball. It's a goal, isn't it? Oh my god, we got lucky. Whoo, we got really lucky. That is a shot onto the post from United in the 21st minute. And that's a goal. I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. But it's clear that we just don't stand a chance against this United team, man. You can see it. Number 39 jumps up and heads it in for them. Way too easy. 
It is Scott McTominay who has been scoring a lot of goals for them in real life as well lately, but man, I somehow thought I had a chance because I survived 20 minutes, but this is this is the difference between us and a Premier League side, boys. If I want to score here, I need something special. I need some sauce from Cook and the boys. And that is not the sauce right there. That pass is horrific. Oh, Cook, that's a good turn. Good pass as well. Right, Dennis. Go on, Dennis. Go on, Dennis, please. Please, Dennis, you have, you have done it multiple times. Yes! Dennis scores! We scored! <laughs> we freaking scored! Oh my god, can you believe it? We have scored! <laughs> That's insane! We scored against Manchester United at their home grounds. They were pushing forward too much, left too much space behind them. And Dennis shows the composure of a Premier League player. Look at that! That is the finish that he has shown us multiple times throughout the season. And he does it yet again! United are shocked. They did not expect this young team to come in and try and stop them. But we're doing it. 1-1. One, one. Man, I'm proud. No matter what happens, I'm so proud of this team, man. Great performance in the first 45. Unbelievable to see. Don't they call this place the theater of dreams or am I mistaking it? If they are, there's about to be a dream fulfilled by this team of the O's. Imagine if we could cause a huge upset here coming up against the Premier League side. I have never been as focused as I am in this game, guys. I'm trying my absolute best to not give the ball away in a silly way. I'm, I'm doing my best to just create chances as we go, but the defenders are quite strong. We're toying with them. We're toying with them. Go on, Cook. Oh my God, what is that touch? We'll take a, we'll take a throw in though in the 61st. Dennis and Cook, both the skillers right next to each other. Right, looking for Clay. Clay looking for Angle. He's inside the box. Angle! David De Gea. It must have been the second shot of the game so far from our team. And we nearly did it. Nearly did it. It wouldn't have gone in anyways. I'm going to select one of our tall lads. And we're going to go near post. Go on. Get in there. Get in there. Angle controls it with his chest instead of shooting. Wagner, right foot. Gets taken down inside the box. Ref, that's a pen, dude. Come help me. Hello, I need help. Oh, they're cre creating space. De Gea. The defenders just moved out of the way and I got nervous. I should have just ran into that space instead of taking a shot. But I have people waiting outside now. Dennis on his left. Mate, we're actually dominating United right now. I need to score from these chances. It's going to cost me big time. I know it. 68th though. Is it time for the super sub? Yes, I think it is. Brophy coming in now, people. Let's see if we can make a difference. And down the left, it's going to be instead of Cook, we bring on Lewis. Let's see. Still plenty of time for United to come in and score one anytime soon. But we're going to go down the left this time because down the left, we have the fresh players. In the likes of Brophy and Lewis. These two can now work together. Brophy now. With that pace, can he get in behind? He does. Far side. We have someone waiting. Dennis. How does he save that? Bro, I even went against his running. Oh my God, David De Gea is insane. How in the world does he save that? That is, I can't even understand how that just worked out. Angol, Angol, Brophy. Oh my, ah, my brain, my brain. I can't cope with De Gea. Oh wow, United now going down the wings, aren't they? United going down the wings. This is not good. Marsh against Pogba and Rami Saka. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please, 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 Wagner. Don't disappoint. Thank you, Wagner. Thank you so much. In the 91st, we just about prevented that from going in. United are struggling to find the room to run into. And we have held them to a 1-1 draw after 90 minutes. That is unbelievable. We have... Oh, it goes into penalties. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Me against David De Gea, are you kidding? Where is he gonna go? I hate Pogba's run up, man. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. He goes down the right! He... He scores. How lucky can you get, man? How lucky can you get? Unbelievable. Oh, it's yellow. He saves it. He saves it. Where is he going? Yes, Brill! Come on! We're still in it, boys. We're still in it. We're still in it. 
Oh my god, this is such a terrible pen. I need to green time it. Yes! Just above the here. We're back into it. Juan Mata. Juan Mata is looking to the left. Brill! Brill! Oh my god. I'm actually nervous. I'm gonna go down the middle. Yeah, of course, AI. Come on, AI, man. Ah, of course. Of course, the AI saves that. I'm gonna miss this as well, just letting you know in advance. Oh my god, what is this? I had to green time it. I don't know. I don't even know why it was switching around like that the whole time, by the way. They hit the crossbar. Oh my god. I need to score this or I'm out. I need to score this or I'm out, people. I'm going bottom left. Green timed it! Come on! Still in it! Ah, oh, that was too good. I read the corner, but that was too good. David De Gea against Lewis, the young kid. Yellow timed it. Man, you know what? I'm proud. I am proud of my team. I'm proud of my performance. The young kids, especially for Lewis, man, that must be devastating. He is the one missing the penalty for United to go through. That feels horrible. Just look at him. Ah, oh, lads. We did well, man. We did well. Honestly, that... <laughs> what is this guy doing? What is he doing there? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, I'm happy with the team's performance. I am more than proud. We played against a Premier League side. We put up a great fight. We missed so many chances. Look at that, man. We were dominating the game. I was so into it. I was so focused and we still couldn't pull it off against United. The theater of dreams didn't really work into our favor this time. What the hell is going on with the camera? What the, what the heck? What the hell? There we go. There's nothing to be ashamed of. We are very happy with what our team has achieved, guys. And um, Wilkinson is asking for more playtime once again. You still have your place, bro. Don't don't just come at me just expecting playtime all the time, man. I can't. If I can't give it to you, I can't give it to you. That's just how it is. Someone is outperforming you to the max. How do you want more playtime? It doesn't make sense. But guys, we have done well. Um, again, as I said before, I'm proud of my team. There's nothing I can complain about. We have played against a Premier League side and lost, which was expected. But we have done the most we could possibly do in that game. So FA Cup round two, we're up against MK Dons. That is going to be the next episode's game. But we are getting closer to the January transfer window guys we're just about there and before we even get there we have a game against Colchester who are at the top of the league table so we might have a good chance to catch up to them up until then and then overtake them if possible. Leighton Orient on 29 points though which is 8 points behind Colchester. Individually we have some of the best performance in the league but as a collective and especially as a defense we're not good enough and I genuinely believe even though I like Brill we need a good goalkeeper. We need someone that comes in through the youth academy that can take over that position and just keep on growing every season, you know? Someone that is gonna stick with us throughout the entire career mode. That is one thing that I'm thinking of. But yeah, man, I'm proud. Thank you guys so much for watching. We did as much as we could possibly do and it didn't work out in the end, but that's cool because that was a great episode. Thank you, have a great day. See you next time. Take care, peace.